Hi guys, Frankie V from Frozen Sand here with another episode of working with Power Tools where we attempt to keep up to date our uh, third party mappers uh, as to the current going on uh, behind the scene as well as uh, perhaps some pertinent information that uh, maybe they find of value as part of their own, uh, let's say, um, endeavors towards making a, an Urban Terra HD style map. Um, one of the uh, things that uh, we uh, we're going to make a habit of uh, pointing out is uh, things that uh, that go bump in the night between the difference between uh, the, the uh, ideals of best, best practice uh, that uh, was related to uh, Intec 3 versus the, the performance, uh, the massive performance curve that's available in Unreal 4 as far as putting geometry into a scene that makes it look uh, like uh, the actual geometry it's supposed to. In other words, we're, the, the point that we're trying to sell is not, uh, is when I'm asked is um, you know, what is uh, uh, the max polygon uh, 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 allowable, uh, the budget, so to speak, uh, as far as uh, trist count goes for a given object, uh, my usual response is to just make the object look like it's supposed to. It, uh, you know, if it's an oil drum, put enough geometry into it that it looks like an oil drum, and that's what uh, we're aiming for towards uh, uh, towards um, HD is to make things look uh, uh, a little bit more, let's say, uh, a real world uh, realistic as far as uh, detailing goes. So how, just how much detail can you go with is um, really is, uh, something that needs to be benchmarked uh, to get uh, an idea where the deep end begins and where the shallow end, uh, where's the where's the safe zone where you where you're working and you know that uh, you know you're not going to you're not going to make any mistakes that's uh, going to add a, a performance hindrance, which uh, I've noticed in uh, DDK a lot is that uh, you have to do a lot of things beforehand or at the same time to ensure an ongoing, um, the performance curve is ongoing. Where in Unreal 4, you can focus on the design of the map, put the detail into it, and then when you get to the polish stage, then you can go back and look at the detailing and decide uh, you know, do I need to cut that uh, cut that down by uh, a, a few trists, so to speak? So, uh, as as an example here, we're going to set up some benchmarks and uh, and see just how how much of a hit we're going to go with, and uh, we'll take a quick examination of some of the assets that I'm going to be using with uh, within uh, within each stage. So, uh, well, first stage uh, I'm going to be using it to set things up here. The first stage will be using the um, the blueprint uh, the blueprint example uh, shaped down a bit, mind you, as to uh, uh, driving uh, as to be able to um, have a a scalable number as uh, in frame rates. So I'll get into that in just a minute here. Uh, some of the assets that uh, we'll be dealing with is uh, PBR material substances, which is uh, physically based materials, which is mm, uh, questionable materials have uh, materials have always been the high hit as far as performance goes, particularly if you're using environmental style uh, types of materials where the where the where the player has to interact with the material in a dynamic manner. In other words, if you have a mirror, you need to be able to see a reflection in the mirror. That's a, a pretty dynamic hit as far as uh, as an asset goes. So materials and things like draw calls are, are something to be looked at in a, a little bit more deeper in the future as to how they actually impact the performance overall but uh, as far as geometry goes um, I, I think we're going to prove a point here that uh, uh, you have a lot of room to play with so uh, <clears throat> looking at our asset pools here uh, as far as what we're going to be uh, scaling into it um, let me bring this up a bit kind of better idea of what we're going to be dealing with uh, so you can see that uh, we have some statues in here at uh, our various different levels and degrees of uh, nest density uh, we're up to about I think the max is about 400, so we'll just kind of uh, scan over these quickly. So we got 121k, uh, 16k, which is a lot more reasonable as far as a game object goes. Uh, 200k, which is getting up there. Uh, 220, uh, okay, uh, 35, uh, 300, six, there we go. This is the largest one here, 639. Uh, or no, that's actually only 63k. <laughs> uh, I thought I had something that was up there in like 600. Uh, 13, uh, 500, uh, okay, uh, there it is, uh, 362K. So this is the big one here, as far as geometry goes, 124, uh, 21, uh, 42, uh, 281. Uh, so I think we kind of uh, brushed over this enough here, 58. Uh, the other objects that I'm going to be putting in here is a 637K uh, static uh, sphere model. And this is uh, going to be about 27 of these, so you do the math. 
and then uh, and the big one uh, where we're going to have um, uh, 257 million uh, uh, trips on on a single mall there. You can see well 254 point uh, two million. Uh, you, well, you can see it. <laughs> so it's a significant amount of uh, uh, geometry there. Now these two objects here will have physically all these objects here, of course, will have physically based materials onto it. But to start things off, we need to establish a baseline as far as frame rates go. So uh, we'll start with a clean scene. I'll go ahead and uh, maximize. Oh yeah, let's uh, one more other uh, one more other batch of information here that's uh, pertinent is. Uh, engine scalability settings is uh, set to epic for everything I also have uh, uh, my card set up for anti higher anti aliasing than normal not too sure can't remember how high but I know it's pretty high uh, 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 material quality level of course is high too as well so everything is has is high 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 uh, our max uh, screen resolution today will be uh, 1900 by 1080 uh, so that's HD territory so um, so uh, it needs to say that uh, that is uh, some pretty big high marks to uh, to achieve uh, any kind of uh, uh, half decent frame rates to uh, to play with. Okay, so anyway, full screen. Uh, we'll go to a play mode and we'll turn on SDK FPS. And uh, to talk about that a little bit, it's a not a reliable number. Uh, I think I mentioned this more than once or twice in the past that the frame rate, uh, the FPS is not really a, a reliable number as to performance curves. The number below is probably a little bit more, let's say, significant. But um, there are other stat settings that you can just flood the screen with uh, all this information of what's actually going on as far as performance goes and they give you like these bar graphs and stuff like that so you can you can walk around your math and you can see uh, exactly where your performance hits are going to be occurring rather than relying on just a single number so um uh, once we get uh, into uh, uh, let's say later on down the road uh, as far as my understanding of what the what the numbers are actually representing i don't i do know that uh, one of the ones that, uh, that is critical is to uh, is to monitor your draw calls because that uh, obviously with the types of materials uh, you know you start rendering out more material more, more, you know you get up to about 2,000 uh, draw calls onto a single object then you're into into some severe performance issues but uh, we'll get into all that into a later date so anyways uh, looking at our frame rate here I've got 120 FPS uh, 8.3 millisecond uh, uh, rendering uh, per per uh, per image so uh, this is uh, to establish our, our our benchmarks. We are capped at 120 FPS, uh, so uh, we can certainly uncap that and go higher. But I would prefer uh, that we stick with this number, uh, a capped number, because it's comparing oranges, apples with apples, and not apples with oranges. So if you un so you have this problem of being able to um, create a, yeah, a potential to create a bias between. Uh, capped and uncapped so uh, you know you need a set of benchmarks that uh, everybody's using the same marks to be able to establish a reliable means as to uh, the overall performance curve so to speak so anyways that uh, we established 120 fps uh, as our, our preferred benchmark test and let's go ahead and uh, uh, load in our our stock uh, level here go open level and we'll select our blueprint office which is uh, pretty clean cleaned out and uh, F11 and we'll go to game mode get rid of that stuff there and uh, as you can see I did some some modifications to it to make it a little bit more lit up so to speak when we add in um, items with uh, physically based materials I'll go ahead and hit the play and uh, you can see that uh, we're, we're pretty well up there now that uh, I've seen that benchmark it changes radically uh, depending on uh, from from uh, playing to playing and I've seen it go from a, a solid 120 down to 92 or 94 so in when you're using Unreal 4 as the editor uh, as in playing in the playing in the editor the pie then uh, <coughs> it's it, 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 as a number it's not very reliable unless you start playing this as a, as a standalone uh, unit you compile the map and you compile the game and that gives you a better idea of the actual uh, gameplay uh, things uh, strange things happens when you're working with the editor so that's uh, should be noted but uh, that's not too bad that's uh, you know up there 
to where uh, where it should be expected. Okay, so uh, anyways, that's uh, uh, that uh, sort of establishes that as as part of our curve. So we'll exit off of that. We'll hit the escape, and we'll go ahead and load in uh, the uh, open level, and we'll go ahead and load in the three million. Now this is Trist. This is triumph count. This is not poly count. So uh, it's, uh, that's the much more truer number, let's say. Okay, so let's take a quick look around here and see what we got. Go to game mode, so we get rid of all that stuff there. You can see we have uh, some uh, detailed models uh, as, uh, as I scanned over them beforehand to establish the amount of uh, tris and, and poly weighting. Uh, there's a total of about 3 million tris uh, uh, combined with all these different uh, uh, bus models and, uh, and uh, statues and what have you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit play, and uh, you can see that from our blank screen, uh, our blank set, uh, there is um, there's not that big of a jump between between uh, the, uh, the frame rate crowns from our our, 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 our vacated uh, blueprint uh, area. So I would say that uh, uh, you know we've established uh, uh, that the curve for three million uh, polygons is not going to be. Uh, <coughs> Uh, say too much of a hit especially at higher quality resolution settings so uh you know an oil drum that uh, you you're looking at and you're going well you know i'm going to have to go from five to make this look right i'm going to have to go from 500 uh, 500 tris to a thousand tris oh no uh i don't think that's going to be too much of a problem so um mm, okay so, so let's go into our our next one here I have lined up which is uh, to 20 uh, 20 megs uh, uh, 20 million tris okay. and it's going to take a little bit longer of course to load up and you can see we've added a, a few more items into the scene these are the uh, 637k uh, spheres I was talking about with physically based materials so this is a much more high dynamic uh, type of environment as far as um, object reflections goes uh, some of these um, objects are actually uh, environmental type of uh, dynamic uh, materials now dynamic material is obviously um, a high uh, is a high impact uh, type of uh, uh, resource to be using so uh, in a way of anything that interacts with the environment so uh, a good example is a mirror is a high dynamic type of material which can cause significant performance issues if you use a, you know, a hall of mirrors kind of thing idea. So we'll go ahead and expand that out, go to game mode here, and uh, kind of take a peek around. And uh, I think we kind of uh, got the idea that uh, just how much load we have. And we'll jump into our play mode, and let's check our frame rates here. And uh, they're starting to dive down uh, a little bit more from the 3 million, but not that much. Uh, not that much as a percentage of difference between the two, uh, especially at high detail settings and at high uh, resolutions. So, um, certainly still within the realm of playability, but of course, it's <laughs> best practice wise, it is excessive. So, here's the material here. Um, I have the, I obviously have the back and no, we're not being reflected in that. Uh, where is it? There was a material in here that you would actually see the flare being reflected in the bottom of it. Uh, okay, where are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. That uh, copper up there. You can just kind of see it. Well, maybe not. Okay, so anyways, moving forward here. Our next uh, stop, of course, will be 70 million. Uh, so I uh, will exit out of that and we'll load that up in low level, open level, 70 million. <coughs> this is going to take a little bit more time to load in. Uh, I mean, we're talking about 70. Ooh, actually, that didn't take no time at all. Okay, so we, here we have an environment with 70. Yeah, or just gotta double check that. 70 million. Okay, so I'll uh, go ahead and uh, expand that up to full screen, go to our game mode. And we'll take a look around now. We're going to have probably some stuttering issues for a bit here. Okay, let's go ahead and get into play and just see just how bad things get. Okay, so now we're obviously getting down into dangerous territory at 70 million, which is uh, a significant load. And we're going to have, uh, we can still walk around. We're still getting into the high 100s. 
but as we turn and start looking into into the environment where where we're starting to talk about a little bit like this this statue here is actually a game type material it's not a physics based material i just did this as a as kind of a establishing a test point here so you can see that uh, even with this high geometry using a non physics based material it uh it causes it gives us a nice uh, much nicer performance uh, curve on in that particular area so um everything else is uh, mostly pbr especially the spheres which is uh, uh is, which is over two million uh tris as far as count goes so uh i think that should be enough to get an idea of just how much uh, a performance uh can be expected uh, obviously we have still have to take into consideration things like um, um uh, minimum hardware requirements and and uh, what have you <coughs> um that that would be ongoing as far as information that uh, that is relayed to us so uh any of you guys that are doing any kind of testing uh that this is the kind of information that we would like to hear back from our from our third party uh, community as far you know but by all means uh, jump into into our forums and uh, let us know about the numbers that you're experience experiencing but uh, uh you know, the, the selling point of this all is that uh, for hd an object has to look like an object an oil drum has to look like an oil drum and of course a sphere even if it has to be 2.5 million <laughs> has to look like a sphere so i hope you, that you found this at least enjoyable uh, if not informative nope wrong button